Yo, they throwing stuff up here. Hey, Chuck. Chuck, sit down, man. No. After the Warriors went to their six finals in eight years, Charles Barkley, rightfully so, was not in a grand old mood. Come on, Chuck. Chuck. Sit down, Chuck. Sit down, Chuck. Sit down, Chuck. Co-hosts Ernie Johnson and Kenny the Jet Smith reiterate their desires to avoid something happening. Meanwhile, Shaq is laughing his ass off. This is a friendly rivalry that has now turned sour. Shaq! Shaq! What many took away is, you know, playful smack talking between a group of fans and an NBA Hall of Famer turned broadcaster is now getting ugly. He loves it. He loves to be the uh, antagonist. He, like, he likes to stir Well, he loves to be. I Never like the little chat they got going. I just want them to know they suck too. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, y'all suck too. <laughs> Why do you think the Mavs are the best team? I don't think they're the best team. I just cannot pick with the Warriors because I hate their fans. Their fans are obnoxious. Yeah, well, I, actually the like, I actually like the players on the team and the coach, but I hate their fans. So you're so, just saying so, that. So, no, no, I, I, I'm pulling for the Mavs. No, but why do you think they could win them? Because I'm just going to divine intervention. Okay. <laughs> I just want to see these people suffer. <laughs> okay. I want to see these uh, losers suck. Let me, let me. I do. Whatever your feelings are, one way or the other. Throwing projectiles onto a TV set is an absolute no-no. Sports Illustrated reported after Golden State booked yet another trip to the finals with a 120-110 victory over the Mavs. A number of Rowdy fans threw t-shirts and garbage at Barkley while he was live on air during post-game coverage. Barkley got up from his seat and acted like he was going to throw something back. Barkley's colleagues, Ernie Johnson and Kenny Smith, pleaded with Barkley to sit down before the situation escalated. The former NBA MVP seemed to be upset at first, but later had a smirk on his face as he returned to his seat. While Barkley's feud with the Warriors fans is amusing, it's dangerous to normalize the idea that throwing things at analysts is okay. Fortunately, this was resolved peacefully and there were no injuries. That said, this is a bad look. For the fans, as well as Barkley, wrote Awful Announcing, which I completely agree with. The objects being thrown on stage didn't look particularly hard and weren't going to inflict much damage, but that does not matter. Things shouldn't be thrown at people. All that does is encourage other people to throw stuff onto the set. That could end up being something harder, which could inflict damage. Also, depending on how far back the people throwing the objects are, the throws could come short and land on other fans. That should never happen. By the same token, Barkley isn't exactly calming the sit by standing up and yelling at them. No, he probably never intended to actually charge into the crowd. But even if that is the case, or even if his reaction was completely good-natured, him standing there doing that also encourages more objects to be thrown onto the set. When it's just trash talk, it's fun. Barkley has said more than enough to earn the Chuck you suck chance. And by and large, he's handled those fine. In this case, though... There are no winners. How did the feud between Barkley and the Warriors fans originate? It stemmed from the beginning of the series when Barkley picked the Mavs because of his hatred for the Warriors fans, who he called a pain in the ass. I don't think they're the best team, Barkley said. I just can't pick the Warriors because I hate their fans. Their fans are obnoxious. I actually like the players on the team and the coach, but I hate their fans. I just want to see these people suffer. I want to see these losers suck. Barkley kept adding fuel to the fire after that point. He called San Francisco hell chanted, you suck too, back to the Warriors fans after Golden State won game one, and even rode a horse before game three to support the Mavs. Meanwhile, Jerry Rice, the greatest receiver to ever play in the NFL, fired up Instagram to shade Barkley, and, well, shade he did. 